so PA, propionic acidemia, incredibly rare and severe pediatric disease. It occurs because there's a missing enzyme called propionyl carboxylase. And that enzyme's involved in the breakdown of the chemical building blocks of proteins, which are amino acids. Um, when that enzyme's missing, there is uh, a buildup of toxic uh, uh, chemicals, essentially. And so patients with this disease, their lives are uh, characterized by life-threatening illness in response to really minor stressors sometimes and long-term organ damage, which includes neurologic dysfunction, heart failure, um, due to you know, these, uh, this, this carboxylase being missing. The disease itself often presents in the first three days of life, and um, if untreated, can lead to coma or, or death. Um, currently, there are no approved drug therapies um, to treat the underlying cause of this disease, and patients uh, ultimately only um, have option of liver transplant. Um, so how does our mRNA potentially address this? So our mRNA called mRNA3927 is administered intravenously, and it carries the uh, code that will instruct the body to um, uh, produce the uh, dysfunctional propionyl carboxylase, that enzyme that causes PA. And it's exciting because in our study, we have dosed patients in the first two groups. It's a phase one, two study called the Paramount study. We've given actually about 75 doses and counting in patients of the mRNA. Um, five of the patients have completed dosing, and all five of those patients have chosen to enter our open label extension study to continue on drug. So it's incredible for me to see the safety and tolerability so far uh, that we have observed. Um, in terms of the types of patients we've dosed as young as two years old, which is terrific. We've also dosed adults in as old as 26 years old. So we're making good progress in propion propionic acidemia.